Hey everyone, it's October, so you know what that means. It's, wait, it's, it's it's May. Uh, hey, we're playing Dementium 2 HD. Um, I don't know. I was playing, you know, as as you saw, that I was playing some um, the Suffering 2, the 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 buys that timed, and that didn't go too well because I had a game ending bug and I couldn't seem to fix it. And you know what's kind of similar, Dementium 2, and and because I don't have a DS capture card set up or anything, I'll go with Dementium 2 HD. And I know there's some problems with this version of the game, but I don't know what they are. I get a lot of requests for what happened for this, but I don't know the details as, as to why people want it. Maybe it's because everyone hates this fucking image. Everyone hates it. I remember I had to ask a friend who was like in a, um, God, a GameStop in, in the States like years and years ago. It wasn't even a friend, it was like the sister of a friend. And they were, I was like, hey, can you get me a game while you're there? They can't find it in Canada. And they're like, what is it? I'm like, it doesn't matter. It, just, <laughs> it has this face. And I sent a picture of this face on the cover and they're able to get it for me. And that's when I first played that version of the game. But that's neither here nor there. So, so let's, let's, let's go get dementium Yeah, this is the sequel, which is weird since the first one never got a PC release, but it is what it is, I guess. Do you know your name? No. I don't know. My name is don't you ever is it Sexton Hardcastle? So yeah, as far as I recall, the entire first game of Dementium was like in a dream. It was it was literally New Heart. Doing the new heart thing of, uh, yeah, no, that was all bullshit. Now you're in the real world, motherfucker, and it sucks here. wonder if this guy's vision has that much, like, dark vignetting on the sides. Like, it's always like that. Hey, what's up, girl? Um, so I'm looking for the cafeteria. Maybe you know where that is? Yeah, that's a video game depiction of an insane asylum. Jesus Christ. A lot of stock sound effects in this scene. Thankfully no royalty free pot, pot breaking or, or, or wind whooshing. Ah, home sweet home. Alright, so it's it's Wasp and all that. Hey, look, whoa, whoa. Check. That's actually pretty cool. The princess die in a bikini. That's actually fucking weird. Women who breastfeed. Okay, let's, alright, I got a postcard. Let's examine this dude. For God's sake, get out before it's too late, William. But I'm William. This seems good. This seems promising. Whoa! Hey, hey, whoa. See, now it's the bad times. That guy, he's having, um... He's having a moment. He's having a normal one, honestly. Whoa! Whoa! Hey. Alright, see his crouch. I'm kind of used to control being... Kataro being couch. Couch being crouch uh, shift is a little bit of a run. It ain't fast I'm I'm not out running a lot of things here So what's happening here is that my reaction of landing and my jumping effort noise are kind of overlapping It's a shank Shanks are good because you can shank That's a shank it's a good old shank. Nothing beats that. See, it's a little much. You could just have one or the other. You don't need both. Alright, these are de facto monsters. It's a decent design, all things considered. Yo, what's where we're up? You got shanked! We're in the Chronicles. Oh god, I thought he was dead. In the Chronicles of Riddick now. Alright, again, having a normal one. See, I think this is like different than how the first game did stuff, because it wasn't a real world and and a, and a Silent Hill world. It was all kind of uh, the same place more or less from what I remember uh, but this is this is this game's kind of main gimmick sir this is a Wendy's oh look at that guy oh what a fun dude love everything if I can't get enough of that dude so I really you know what graphically I think this game you know is is pretty impressive actually from a DS to PC thing because you're still using a lot of the same acid cool uh, so we're yep cool um, I was gonna say could that yeah 
Uh, the FMV that we just saw there, sorry, CG uh, cutscene. It's like it looks worse than the in-game graphics to me, like because it's it, it just it just doesn't look very good. Uh, so I'm dude, I'm trying to talk. Very nice HUD though. Like, is that even a language? I can't actually tell. Oh my god! Oh my god! This is great. Yes, yes, Papa the Boopy. Oh wow, you got punked the fuck out. Get in there. Get in. Alright, so you can't pick that up, which kind of sucks. I could always use a, as a glow stick. Elevator is not working, which is good to let me know. Shit is locked. This is a game that kind of inspired Shit's Locked. One day I'll make Shit's Locked. I know I say that every day, but I swear to God I will. There, there's some zombium. I'm gonna pick it up, yum. Uh, they're just health pills. You know, just the pills for your oozing wounds. Yep. Get down! So, a thing is like holding down shift and just like kind of running backwards while hitting them. Because it seems like the, at least these guys, their attack animations come out pretty slowly. So at least that, that's how you do that. So, I'm racking up quite the body count already during this riot. Now this seems like it's the real deal that's currently happening. Uh, so, I, this is going to look poorly on my record. You killed a large amount of guards, I sure did! So yeah, one neat thing about this game is that you'll get certain weapons and items and be able to go back to certain areas and block them off, which doesn't happen in too many first-person shooters, but I actually really like that. Uh, I, I don't remember if the first game did that stuff that much. I want to say it didn't. Uh, patient Will William Redmore, which is a great survival horror monster-based first-person shooter style name. Transferred from Cowling State Hospital for the Criminally Insane. Allegedly murdered wife and suffered, allegedly, <laughs> and suffered psychotic break. Psychotic break. Uh, presented with low-level function slash high suicide risk. Uh, possible sh 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 schizotypal disorder, but officially diagnosed as unclassified mental illness. Uh, treatment protocol, phase one. Good. Phase one is the, is, is the phase I don't mind that much because I don't know what phase two or three are. And it's really nice the map is up there. I think that's nice. It's not really intrusive at all because it, normally the, the map would be on the DS screen that uh, we would, you know, the DS if you remember that whole concept. This is a fun room. I think everyone can enjoy this. Right, uh... You okay there, dude? You look a little excited in the morning there. I'm just saying. This guy again. I don't know why there's so many foreign speaking things since we're in North America. It's not like we're in Russia. It sounds Russian to me, but then again, I don't know much. It's an adrenaline syringe for adrenaline. I might need that later. And again, very silent hill with the same mirror and whatnot. I don't mind. Yeah, I know. Pagliacci, the clown. Let's try this. What is even this on this door? I can't open this. Holy shit, I forgot there is like these little DS slide puzzles. Uh, so you got, you got the three eyeballs there, two there, and one there. It shouldn't be that hard, but <laughs> you know me. Okay, maybe it will be hard. <laughs> so these little asshole locks show up for no reason. Not a fan. Alright, let's just get three in there. Alright, cool. Let's get two in there. Let's get one in there. Nice. I'm a superstar. These things, they, they all started happening after your surgery. Whatever was wrong inside your head, we, we let it out. Oh yeah, I have like other dimensions in my head. I'm like a Alessa. Alright, we got this little beastie. This monster from the late 80s movie. I love it. <laughs> I like this guy to be a villager in Animal Crossing. Alright, well, so I don't want to be under this guy as he does his thing. Oh, come on, come on, come on, just a little bit. Just gotta slash you up a little bit. Right in the tuchus. Yeah, 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 I don't want, I don't want to get it. Sexy gams that this guy has. I mean, it's really not a bad monster. Like, I see so much worse. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get in. <laughs> feeling good. Feeling good. 
me a glimpse of what I'm capable of. Okay, so I killed your monster with a knife, and you have the gall to fucking insult me? I should just lay down and pass away due to the disrespect there. All right, so what we got? We have the gun. I could have used this five minutes ago. Sure could, Dementium. Uh, I think I'll keep with the knife now. You wanna, you wanna save it. I mean, that that's what I like about the Dementium series, that it was kind of just first person survival horror. Like, it, you did really have to uh, save your ammo, uh, save your game a hell of a lot. And uh, health is always a constant issue, so I like that. I'll overwrite that save. There's no reason not to. Save rotation is for cowards. Is it this over here? Probably. It absolutely is, and it looks helpful. All right, there we go. All right, we're back in the monster. And that's actually like, this door is locked until we clear out all the enemies. Of which there's going to be way too many, if I recall. Step in, step out. Move in and move out. Hands up and hands down. These guys are very the suffering, aren't they? I don't mind. While they're doing their animation, you get a few nice hits in, though. Like a hero would do. Alright, we did it. So that's pretty radical. How very Hellraiser of you. Man, I sure hope that Hellraiser show on HBO is going to be good. I'd imagine it will be. And what do we have in here? Yeah, that guy. That guy is just doing it. You know, no crying, no complaining, just vibing, you know? Bone saw! Bone saw's ready! I got you for three minutes! Three minutes of play time! Let's do it! I'll try out the piston a little bit. Again, what I was saying before is true. You do. Ow! Cool. See, it's pretty neat, and it's a fast transition, which I don't mind. The elevator is not working, which is fantastic for Matthew. It's all coming up, Millhouse. So we're back in office, but I don't really have anything. I have the gun, and I have a key card. That's about it. And I really been meaning to talk to the developers that are making another little Dementium style project, like an HD upres, and maybe the first game. Uh, for PC, it's it's I I've been so busy with a lot of other stuff. Plus, you know global pandemic and and everything so um yeah i've been meaning to talk to them about like you know what what they're currently working on because there's something going on with with the the series in general uh if i can uh, I, I think i'll put a link in the description about what is actually going on for those that uh, maybe don't know yeah key cards open up all doors especially the ones they were designed for i'm very code yellow you all should you all should be afraid of me. So I'm just gonna shoot whatever's behind here. Disarm yourself! No. Alright, that's not great feedback when you when you shoot a guy. Uh with uh, at least the guard. There's something about the, the sound is not super loud or, or it's slightly delayed. Wow, that was way less than I thought I had. Or is that, is there like a reload I'm missing? There you go, okay. It's a manual reload. Like, I meaning I can't just keep shooting and then he'll eventually reload by himself, so. I mean, that is more survival horror -y, right? This guy actually looks really happy under the mask. Like, I see, like, this little mustache, and he just, he's just doing his job. You know? All right, this looks good. Feeling good about entering here. Bloody trail going into there. I'm liking it. Oh god, these little wormies. I forgot about these dudes. I think this was an issue. There's something about this in the first game, and when they remastered it for the 3DS, they had to switch it because they were almost infinitely spawning. God, what was the issue there? I kind of forget. Uh, you were just the beginning. He's already started phase two. Things are going to get much worse. Nice! I love that for me. And it just, the texture just ends, which is crazy. Hey, boys, what's up? See, not very scary enemies, these guys. Like, I get why they're here. Uh, to have real-world, um, I don't guess, consequences. It, 
I, I understand and they're guards and, and we're in a place like this so it makes sense but like yeah not very scary even if they put the scary bump 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 music whenever they attack we we all must stay stay indoors motherfuckers don't go outside folks are gonna wonder why I dug an escape tunnel and never used it the thing is cursed it's out of my toilets cursed but there are things in the cave I boarded it up and never went back I'd rather die in this cell than go back in that tunnel let's go into that tunnel that's not a great photo is that like a developer's son or something and these doors they're not even on the map they're like painted on doors <laughs> to make the prisoners think there's an escape it'd be nice to get a little spook over here no just these pictures of of cockroaches <laughs> just this rv of jpegs you go little guys let's get a better look at these guys oh they're so cute I'm not scared at all. That's super funny to me. As okay, so we have like some type of double locked door. It's red and green. Maybe I can't go in through the other side. Maybe that's what's, what it's implying. All right, we're kind of we're kind of heading out there. We're making making progress. That's good. Oh, look at these dudes. Bam, boom, boom. Yeah, that music here is super funny. Uh, it's trying to be scary. It's not quite doing the job, but it's all right. Not everything has to be Silent Hill at all times. What's this though? This looks useful. It's called a sledgehammer. I'm very excited. Yes! Look at that. I'm so nervous to be holding this weapon. Oh, Jesus. I, I forgot about this thing, whatever it is. That's awful. Get away, you lousy dimension! I don't know what you are. Walk away, though. Why was that the bug room? The insectarium? God, I'm like blathers over here. Fucking horrible beasties. I don't want no part of it. Ugh, time to play the game! <laughs> hey, Nigel. You'll never guess what I just heard. Uh, one of the other security guards talking about. Apparently, they're flying in a ton of Russian inmates. Thank you for the story justification for that. I, I, that actually does a lot. Better start learning some Russian, my brother. Keith, you're okay, Keith. That was just a note, but that was an important note. Again, uh, really good that uh, there is a story justification for that. And it makes sense for like a spooky asylum place to be like, we need uh, motherfuckers and cheap. So these guys will do for our horrible, horrible experiments. Wow. If anyone tries to attack me, it's like, fuck off. I have a sledgehammer, you know? I If I see a guy with a gun in like a prison and, and it's alone and it's also a haunted prison, I'll be like, this isn't good for me. Uh, but you know, I'll, I'll take it in stride. If I'm in a prison and I see a guy like 500 miles away inside the prison, I can see him from a far distance and he has a sledgehammer, that's when I start sweating. Cause that dude does not have a sledgehammer for no reason. BAM! This like, I would really love to work, uh, help, help out at the very least on a first, like a horror based first person shooter like this. That's why I enjoy playing The Suffering 2 so much. As janky as it was and as like in your face as it was with all its bullshit. I still enjoyed it, you know? Alright, bunch of health pills. Shotgun ammo for the shotgun I don't fucking have yet. That's cool. Hello, Russian inmates. I'm glad you guys were given justification for being here. Hey, I'm just saving. Don't mind me, kids. This headless guy. I swear to God, I remember there being a flashlight at least in the first game. Maybe there isn't in the second. I'm pressing F. <laughs> Oh. Yeah. Oh, bam! You got buried. Also, I want to say, uh, just shout out to these notes. All this vignetting around it. The 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 script is very very clear. They're not written too long. It's like seven pages of notes. When you know you played some indie uh, horror games, and it's like seven pages, and it's small text. And just goes on and on. You better be the best written note ever. And very often, they're not. Jesus Christ. Oh my god, is this a scary area with the fucking demon gas? Oh god. Oh, I'm not happy about this. Because I think this is. Oh, it's the demon gas! I knew it! This motherfucker! Oh, I hate this part of the game! There's just something about this I'm not a fan of. I don't, I don't remember if this ever gets a story justification. Oh, Jesus! And it's several strong demon gas boys! 
I'm not looking that way. Ah, oh, fuck, I did it! Thank fucking lord! Oh, I bet people that know this game really well are laughing at me. Holy shit, is there more? <laughs> oh, stupid demon fart devil gas. I hate it so much. What the fuck am I supposed to do here? Hey, asshole! But what I probably have to do. <laughs> fuck! Oh, what the shit? I get sent to, like, Devil Dimension? Great. I thought you just straight up died. Okay, I think I'm almost there, though. I remember you getting killed, but uh, may maybe they changed it for this part? I don't know for sure. Get out of here. That's go God damn it. Oh, this Resident Evil shit, I'm not in the mood right now. Well, at least this part is scary. Like, the game up until this point has been kind of a laugh, mostly. I mean, there's little bits here and there, but, uh... I'm glad that's over with. Gabazos! You know what? I think I think we should just head back just a second just to make sure I can't use that door. No, that's very locked. Like that's locked with like demon pubes and shit. So yeah, no, forget that, forget that. There you go. Can't believe I forgot about the flashlight being in this. I know it's like a Dementium thing, because I remember using the stylus on the screen. Oh, hey, what's up? I find it's such a common reaction playing, like, seeing, like, a scary monster, like a horror game. Like, you know, Let's Players, people in general, will just go, Hey, what's up? Because you want to seem like a big man, even if you're not at all. It's spreading! So, yeah. Now we're in like this cool winter area that's like a little village and it's actually pretty awesome. I, I like this part of the game. It's spreading like cancer, hurry William! Yeah, it's what the chapter is called. You know what, I'm gonna call it right here. If you guys wanna see more, uh, let me know. I'm enjoying this a lot. Um, and this, this I never beat the original game on the DS, so there's definitely stuff I haven't seen. What is that? Is that another demon guy? Please don't. Oh my god. Whoa, it's like a demon ghost and now I got frosty nips. So, uh, this is Dementium 2 HD. Uh, let me know in the comments and I swear to god I'll try to uh, rustle up some spooks for y'all. Ah!